design is a little bit misleading because um, we're not planning to fail, right? What we're saying is there's an approach to something which could be prone to error, which is more intelligent than not. So I talk about intelligent failures. And if you think about it, when you're in a world of high uncertainty, and we're all in a world of high uncertainty right now. I don't care who you are. You don't know what next week's going to hold, let, let alone six months from now. So in a world of high uncertainty, the only way you get data about anything is you have to take actions. And you have a hypothesis about what's going to happen by taking an action. And if the action does not lead to the thing that you hypothesize, that's a failure looked at in some ways. But when you think about it, it's like a scientific test, right? You now know that direction's not fruitful, so we'll go a different direction. So failing by design basically says, let's distinguish between you know, not so bright failures where you really should have known better then that's that's not good we don't want to encourage that but in a complex uncertain situation trying small things and failing and trying something different is the only way you're going to build up enough understanding to know what you should be doing